a widow weeping on her husband's grave, was approached by an engaging gentleman, who in a respectful manner assured her he had long entertained for her the most tender of feelings. Wretch, cried the widow, leave me this instant. Is this a time to speak to me of love? I assure you, madame, I had not intended to disclose my affections, the engaging gentleman humbly explained, but the power of your beauty has overcome my discretion. You should see me when I have not been crying, said the widow. The dog, as created, had a rigid tail, but after some centuries of a cheerless existence, unappreciated by man who made him work for his living, he employed the creator to endow him with a wag. This being done, he was able to dissemble his resentment with the sign of affection, and the earth was his and the fullness thereof. Observing this, the politician, an animal created later, petitioned that a wag might be given to him too. As he was incarnate, it was conferred upon his chin, which he now wags with great profit and gratification, except when he is at his meals. A kind-hearted physician, sitting at the bedside of a patient afflicted with an incurable and painful disease, heard a noise coming from behind him, and turning saw a cat laughing at the feeble efforts of a wounded mouse to drag itself out of the room. You cruel beast, he cried. Why don't you kill it at once, like a lady? Rising, he kicked the cat out the door and picked up the mouse compassionately and put it out of its misery by pulling off its head. Recalled to the bedside by the moans of his patient, the kind-hearted physician administered a stimulant, a tonic, and a nutrient, and went away. <laughs>